I'm confused. About what? How can LeChuck be alive? Relatively speaking, of course. I don't know. What is the ultimate insult? And why are LeChuck and Ozzy Mandrill after it? I don't know. Well, I've got a plan. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what is it? Let's hide in the mansion until this whole thing blows over. That's not very heroic, dear. But it's so unheroic, it just might work. I've got a better idea. I'll redouble my efforts to keep LeChuck out of the governor's mansion, which should be a lot easier now that I know he's really an evil undead demon from heck. In the meantime, why don't you do everything you can to stop Ozzy and LeChuck from getting their hands on the ultimate insult? Whatever that is. Uh, okay. How? If I were you, honey, I'd talk to the voodoo lady. She always seems to know about these things. But... Have fun fighting the bad guy, schnookums. This is what it's like being a first lady. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Yikes! You pulled? Hey, it's you! Yes, it is I. You seem to show up whenever I'm in trouble. Why? Who can say? Perhaps it's because we share an unspoken magical bond. Perhaps the fates have intertwined our destinies. Or maybe I've got an unbreakable five-game deal with LucasArts. In any event, I'm here to help. How can I assist you, Guybrush Threepwood? I see that you are finally ready to ask me about the ultimate insult. Yeah. What would you like to know about it? I sense that you want to know what the ultimate insult is. Good guess. The ultimate insult is the most coveted and dangerous voodoo item the world has ever known. More coveted and dangerous than the indescribable terrors of Big Whoop? Twice as coveted and five times as dangerous. Yowie! What does it do? It is a powerful talisman that allows its owner to spew incredibly foul insults. Insults? That's all? I thought it would be a potion that turned people inside out or something. But these are no ordinary insults, Threepwood. These are insults spoken in an ancient, forgotten tongue. Insults so vile, so emotionally crippling, that they transform even the fiercest of pirates into an egoless mass of goo permanently. Wow! Hey, wait a minute. If the insults are in a forgotten language, how come they're so dangerous? Wouldn't that have the same effect as insulting me in Finnish? You'd think that, wouldn't you? But the language used by the ultimate insult is so ancient that it's rumored to be the primal language, the tongue from which all other languages arose. Amplified by the voodoo magics of the ultimate insult, this original language has the power to speak to the very heart of a person's soul and mock it into oblivion. Whoa. Indeed. I see that you want to know how to make an ultimate insult. That would be useful. Sadly, I have no idea how to make an ultimate insult talisman. That's strange. You've always seemed to be the master of all things voodoo-like. Yes, 
but the ultimate insult was outlawed dozens of years ago in the aftermath of a terrible battle between two ultimate insult wielding hoon guns that shattered the egos of an entire chain of islands that's awful and bad for business as a face-saving gesture the united voodoo workers of the tri-island area agreed to gather up and destroy all known copies of the ultimate insult recipe lest one ever be assembled again. I see that you want to know where to find the makings of an ultimate insult. It would be good to know where to start. As I said, the instructions to build an ultimate insult have been destroyed. However, I seem to recall that the individual pieces of an ultimate insult can only be found on one island. Monkey Island? Mm, no, too obvious. It was some other island entirely. Unfortunately, this island's name has also been lost to the vagaries of time. Very well. I sense that you want to know the connection between the Mali heirlooms and the ultimate insult. Stop doing that! But you're right, this chest contains Grandpa Marley's heirlooms. According to Grandpa Marley's letter, his wedding presents to Elaine hold the key to assembling the ultimate insult. But there's so much stuff in these heirlooms that it's hard to separate the presents from the junk. Ah, I sense powerful voodoo forces at work here. Weddings, nuptials, bands of gold. Reveal to us a gift that's old. Hey, a pair of earrings. Lacy veils and prenups too. Show us the symbol of something new. Ooh, a necklace. Bridesmaids tinged with jealous sorrow. Bring to light a present borrowed. A pen on a chain? What kind of present is that? One heart beats where once were two. The final gift is something blue. Oh, the final gift is something blue. Is something wrong? Yes. There should be a fourth wedding gift in here. A blue wedding gift. But my mystic senses detect nothing. Maybe it's still on Luger Island. I don't think so. My voodoo instincts tell me it's somewhere on Mele Island. How curious. Do you have any idea where I can find the blue wedding present? Only that it's somewhere on Melee Island. What am I supposed to do with the wedding presents? If Grandpa Marley was telling the truth, they hold the key to finding the ultimate insult. But how? If it were me, I'd find the woman who wore those earrings. I don't need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. <laughs> Um, honey? What is it, dear? I'm kind of busy right now. I talked to the voodoo lady about the ultimate insult. Well, what did she say? She said it was an ancient voodoo talisman capable of permanently shattering the souls of pirates. Yikes! Huh. I wonder a couple of warped cretins like LeChuck and Ozzy want to get their hands on it. Want to hear any more about the ultimate insult? Only if you're going to tell me that it's been found and destroyed. Uh, um, not yet, no. Then, I want to hear it. The voodoo lady found Grandpa Marley's wedding gifts. Really? Let me see. Ugh. What was my grandfather thinking? His earrings, they're way too big, and they're made of wood. The necklace is okay, I guess, but this pen looks like it was stolen from a bank. Hmm. Maybe these gifts really do hold the secret of the ultimate insult. They clearly weren't intended to be proper wedding gifts. Well, I'm off to find the ultimate insult. Try not to get killed and or cursed, dear. I wonder if he recycles these candles in his art. Meat Hook, once a nasty pirate, now a salty old wax painter. Meat 
Hook. Guybrush, I'd heard you were killed by a giant clam. Rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Not to mention celebrated. What? Oh, nothing. Uh, <clears throat> what brings you to my humble loft, old friend? I thought we could catch up on old times. Like what? How did you and Carla and Otis... Escaped from Monkey Island. Same way you did, of course. On Herman's hidden pirate ship? Herman had a ship? That jerk never told us. I, uh, guess we didn't escape the same way you did. If you didn't use Herman's ship, how did you? Escape from Monkey Island. I uh, don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on. No. Whatever happened to your parrot? You mean the beast? Oh, he died. Hunger? Loneliness. A parrot without someone to talk to is a sad parrot. Do you still do that thing you do? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, that funny thing you do. Come on, do the funny thing you do. I still don't know what you're talking about. You know, that thing you do with the talking and the face. If you don't want to do the funny thing, just say so. What are you talking about? You know, the thing with the tattoo. Ow! You mean this? Hello, Guybrush. That's it. Could you do the thing with the tattoo again? Sure. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I'm a mighty pirate. On second thought, I really don't have time to reminisce. Fine by me. What do you want to talk about? What's with all the candles? I use them to create me art. Your art? I didn't know you had an art. Oh, yes. As a child, I was one of the foremost watercolor painters in the Tri-Island area. See? Here are me old paintbrushes. Nice. I love painting, but after I lost me hands in the accident, I just sort of drifted into piracy. I didn't really like being a pirate, but what else could I do? I was a painter with no hands. So how did you end up painting with wax? Well, after me traumatic experience on Monkey Island... Sorry. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate no more and resolved to return to the world of art. Well, to make a long story short... Too late. One night, I discovered that I could create paintings from the wax drippings of colored candles impaled on me hooks. Since then, I have been known to art lovers everywhere as Meat Hook, Master of Wax. That's the silliest story I've heard in hours. Do you sell a lot of these wax dripping paintings? They're selling like wildfire, which is ironic. Why? Because if you put them next to a wildfire, they melt. <laughs> the humor of the artistic elite has always escaped me. I'm looking for something called the ultimate insult. I could use your help. How can I help? Do you have any idea what the ultimate insult is? Not a clue. Maybe you should ask the old voodoo lady. She's good with stuff like that. Do you know what the ultimate insult looks like? Nope. I'm looking for Grandpa Marley's fourth wedding present. Why? Because it'll help me find the island of the pieces of the ultimate insult. That's funny. Why? Many years ago, when I was a child prodigy using conventional watercolors, Grandpa Marley hired me to paint him a map of the Tri-Island area. He said it was going to be a wedding present for his granddaughter. Unfortunately, he left for Australia before I finished it. Where's that painting today? I don't know. When I began working with wax, I painted over all me old watercolors. I just couldn't stand looking looking at him anymore. I think I covered Marley's map with some sort of landscape. That's all I can remember, though. Do you still have it? Oh, no. My waxy creations are sold faster than I can produce them. Marley's map could be anywhere by now. Darn. Do you think that the map you painted for Grandpa Marley is really the fourth wedding present? It seems likely. And you really don't know where it is? All I know is that it's out there, somewhere with a beautiful waxy landscape painted over it. I think I'll plumb this ultimate insult mystery on my own. Okay. Anything else? Oh, nothing important. Go back to what you were doing. Thanks. A box full of grenade canisters. Don't be silly. Those are cans of special colored wax. Oh, I knew that.
sure does have a lot of barrels full of stuff in here. More fun than a barrel full of the uh, wax. What vibrant colors. Wow, this stone guy sure has some hot breath. Hmm, wouldn't the molten wax slide down the face of the canvas if it were on the easel? Oh, amateurs. Ah, the thirsty Buccaneer Mountains, where we get expensive bottled Ivion Mountain Spring Water. This paintbrush seems pretty solid. I've got nothing to paint on. Hmm, this could be any one of a million places on these islands. It could be in my own backyard for all I know. It is your backyard. Oh, okay. There's a quarter in here. It's a coin. It's jammed, stupid grog machine. Give me back my quarter. I think it's had enough. Guybrush, what did I tell you about drinking grog? Uh... Guybrush, Ulysses Threepwood. No grog until my errands are finished. Island Governor Elaine Marley, and I'm running for re-election. It has recently come to my attention that my opponent, Charles L. Charles, is none other than the demon zombie ghost pirate LeChuck. Does Mele really want an agent of the undead legions of heck governing its fiscal policy? I think not. Thank you for your time, citizens. And remember, vote for Elaine Marley on election day. Lua bar? What's a lua? Great pictures of Grog! They've done something horrible to the scum bar! Welcome to the lua bar! I'll be right with you. Those are some bizarre looking drinks. No thanks. Give me a grog over this stuff any day. They're cheap, crummy, mass-produced wooden chopsticks. I don't think so. Every time Elaine tries to teach me how to use these things, I end up with a bowl of hot sake in my lap. Hmm, the style of this painting, it seems very meat hooky.
Excuse me. Why, hello. Great getup. What do you mean, great getup? Whoa, you look really authentic. Just like a, you know, a real swashbuckler. Do you work here? No, I am a real swashbuckler. My wife's the governor. I'm a mighty pirate captain. Whoa, you really get into character. What's good on the menu? Uh, I like everything. Really? That sushi stuff looks pretty gross if you ask me. Well, don't tell anyone, but <laughs> I don't like it either. But everyone else is eating it, and, you know, after all, isn't that what real pirates eat? I've heard the flaming scuttlefish is the way to go if you don't like sushi, though. Did you know this place used to be a real pirate bar? Really? More than this? Oh, yeah, they had real grog, real pirates, and real fights. Whoa, sounds great, but, uh, what's grog? Uh, never mind. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, thanks. Excuse me, miss. I'll be right with you. Why don't you have a seat first? Pardon me. Yes? Do you know what they did to the scum bar? Scum bar? What's that? It's what this place used to be before they redecorated it. It was dark, dingy, smelled like grog gone bad. Sounds disgusting. <sighs> yeah, it was great. What's good to eat here? Do you like sushi? I'm sure I wouldn't. Mm, you need to ease into it then. Order something that isn't raw to start with, and then work your way to the good stuff. Good stuff? I hope by that you don't mean the stuff that looks like it lived in the bilge of a ship last week. Ooh, the unagi. <laughs> That's the best. You aren't from around here, are you? Does it show? When I travel, I try not to look like a tourist. I like to really get to know the place I'm visiting. Then this is the wrong place. You should be down by the docks, working the ships, drinking grog. That doesn't sound like much fun. This is plenty authentic enough for me. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Sure. This seat is all wet. I better choose another one. Ah, how cute. Little itty-bitty boats floating around carrying itty-bitty pieces of something that appears to be edible. Excuse me, miss. Um, uh, miss? Can I help you? What happened to the scum bar? Oh, we're under new management now. We've done away with all the pirate swill and wenches. Oh. But I liked the pirates. Oh, gross. Nobody likes real pirates anymore. That's so last week. But I liked the swill. We've replaced that old swill with family-friendly fun beverages. We have quite a selection. But I liked the wenches. I mean, they, um, made it so authentically piratey. Our decorators went for realism without the fright. They insisted that we replace the wenches with totems and bamboo. Drink sales are down, but we can turn the lights on again. Excuse me, I have customers waiting. Excuse me, miss. Um, miss? Can I help you? Can I order some food? Sure. What can I get you? Can you recommend something? Try the flaming scuttlefish. It's for people like you. I'll have that. Excellent choice, sir. We're required to say that. Your order will be up shortly. There's some sort of mechanical stuff under the water that's making these boats go. Darn, the chopsticks were too weak. They just snapped right in half. What is this? The boats, they are stopped. Uh oh, I better move before he sees what I did. What in the name of Eiffel? Uh -huh. Here is the problem. Some smarter Alec has jammed the works. So help me if I find out who did this. Voila! Seriously! Hmm, fishy. 
Sacre fou! What are you doing in my kitchen? Looking for a menu. What are the specials? Out! 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 I better move before he sees what I did. Sacre bleu! I do not understand! Why do the boats keep stopping? What are these brushes doing here? Why do you still molest my kitchen? I was just looking for the bathroom. Get out of my kitchen! I better move before he sees what I did. Sacre bleu! I do not understand! Why do the boats keep stopping? What are these brushes doing here? No, my grab. As well, take it. It is of no use to me now. Thanks.
It's a painting from Meat Hook's Blue Period, depicting what appears to be the entire Tri Island area. That's the second most beautiful figurehead I've ever seen. Hey, she's got pierced ears. Why would anyone put earrings on a ship's figurehead? Who? What? Where? Oh, cripes, not again. Couldn't just leave me alone, could you? Most pirates would be happy with a gorgeous inanimate figurehead. But no, you had to stick those accursed voodoo earrings into me. Well, here I am, an enchanted, talking, ticked-off figurehead. Am I everything you hoped for? Hey, a talking figurehead. Hey, a talking monkey. Well, actually, I'm a mighty pirate captain. Besides, there's no such thing as a talking monkey. Says you. I've been everywhere in this cesspool of a tropical paradise, and I've seen everything. Much more than some grog light swilling nobody like you. Um, okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Suits me fine. Hey! Who painted me pink? A statuesque lady of your beauty should have a necklace. Oh, how sweet. You remind me of the daughter your parents never had. What is this compulsion you have to dress me up, you pantaloon freak? Oh, do you need me to carry that big, heavy picture for you? Yeah, do you mind? You know what else would look good on me? Your blood on my hands. Say, you don't happen to know anything about the ultimate insult, do you? I got your ultimate insult right here. Sounds like a big yes to me. Do you know where it is? How the poop deck should I know? Get a load of this guy. Thinks just cause I'm attached to a ship, I know where every little two-bit piece of dirt of an island is. What a scupper licker. Ooh, look at me. I'm Guybrush Three Thorns. I'm a mighty stupid pirate. Interesting. Do you know what it looks like? I told you, you festering bucket of shark bait. I don't know anything about your supposed ultimate insult. Look at you walking around like you've got a bow spread up your, hey, what's this now? Yikes, this looks complicated. This is your captain speaking. Prepare the ship for departure. Oh, great. Now where are we going? Jambalaya Island, home of the ultimate insult. Jambalaya Island? What kind of name is that? Can you get us there, Mr. Cheese? Aye. Make it so. <clears throat> Elaine? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, right. I forgot to kiss you goodbye. Cute. No, you forgot to give the gubernatorial symbol back to me. Oh, yeah. Here. I'm off to find the ultimate insult. Try not to get killed and or cursed, dear. What? What? Hey, a talking monkey! Oh, ungrateful. Uh, Mr. Cheese, wouldn't it be easier to sail around that typhoon on the horizon? Ha <laughs> ha! Where'd be the fun in that, Captain? Cry havoc and let them to the dogs of war. The Kraken! Not in the face! Not in the face! Oh, the ship! Cut us, stun the strain, Captain. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. This was only supposed to be a three hour tour. Well, 
That was a miserable journey. No cushy government job is worth this much grief. Welcome to Jambalaya Island, home of swashbuckling pirates and spooky voodoo curses. And tacky theme restaurants. And tourists. Do I be hearing piped in music wafting through those artificial trees? What are you guys talking about? This is a perfectly normal pirate town. That's been completely taken over by the corporate tourist industry. Gee, Ozzy must have been really busy here. Oh, I need a drink. I've got repairs to make. I'll stay here and, um, uh, guard the ship. 